Uh, hi, my name is Joe. Uh, I'm a freelance uh, designer and woodworker, and uh, I'm a member of Studio Vexed here in Dalslongid. Hi, uh, my name is Biba, and I am a freelance designer as well, and also a member of Studio Vexed. So we are Studio, Studio Vexed. <laughs> So we have an idea to create a working space because we all end up living here in Longed and we were a bunch of creatives who didn't have space. So we uh, decided to create a co-working space and we needed money uh, to uh, do the basic stuff like uh, working desks and um, storage units so we can really have the space that we can use for our work and rent it out for others which is a concept of the co-working space. And I think we were kind of, uh, the majority of us had graduated in 2018 and then we had this, this idea to create this space and we had a lot of time and energy, but not necessarily quite enough uh, kind of financial kick to get it going. Mm. And so that's why also we, we approached yeah. the idea. It was a great support to yeah. start the idea. Uh -huh. We are a group of uh, artists and designers um, and we all kind of share one thing in common is that uh, we've chosen to call Dals Long at home. Um, the majority of us have studied also at uh, HDK or Stonyby School Land. Um, and yeah, we decided to put down roots and kind of clump together as a family to um, to make it make it a kind of uh, a reality and a possibility to to live and work here in Dalsongit. We're yes. currently seven full time. Seven members. active permanent members with two a little less active right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We it was a need first, right? Uh, we kind of all end up living here. We we all have our freelance jobs and we mostly work from home or we didn't have space to work so uh, we kind of realized that there's no place to work so we can be the one who creates that kind of space but not only for ourselves also for for whoever need, is in need of that kind of working environment so that was the initial idea and then um, we needed to find a space and we did find this great, great uh, antique shop that was just about to be closed. So we kind of hurry and take it over. And, and that's how we start. We were all actually in a great need of, of, of the mm -hmm. creative environment and space and, and physical working space. Mm -hmm. Not just the physical, but also uh, what is important is that we kind of create a, a creative community that we are together and work together. Mm. So that was the, the, the beginning of it. Um, so we've been kind of collaborating with uh, a local building merchant, um, uh, Stenaby Cement. And they've been extremely generous to us, especially in like the, the initial phase of this project because we decided to build um, our own furniture for the studio and also um, build all the storage and we needed a fair bit of material for that so they decided to yeah to support us with a great discount on uh, building materials and since then we've actually been able to you know physically create this space and the working desks and the rest for for the studio um also worked and collaborated with not quite so We've received like a lot of uh, fantastic knowledge from uh, not quite members about you know certain pitfalls to avoid when kind of creating this kind of space, and also yeah tips and advice on day to day kind of uh, running running a business as a creative. I mean I think in terms of collaborations, kind of the creation of this space itself has kind of sparked so many different collaborations um, and kind of within ourselves as a group we've kind of been taking on different projects um, such as the the calendar that was recently produced for between yeah. yourself and and funny yeah um, and uh, yeah a lot of other artists 
Yeah, I mean, this space provides these opportunities that probably wouldn't happen if we would, if we weren't working and be together in this place. Uh, so that's a really good, good part of it. Maybe what we can add is that you can rent uh, a desk for one day only or for a week or monthly. Then in the basement we have this um, wood workshop which you can also uh, rent or book. Um, so any, anyone who wants to work with wood uh, from, the, from, from the village or students, they can come and, and use it. So, but that's important that it's not that you have to commit for a month of a year. You can just drop in and sit here for, for a couple of hours and that's a good thing about it, I think. What else? Um, I mean, I guess, yeah. could we mention that um, quite an exciting kind of development is that we're now actually going to be increasing the space that we have here um, and kind of moving into one of the apartments which is above here and that will be Dulls Longhead's first co-working textile space. Um, so it will be kind of, yeah, in the same way that we have a woodwork wood, wood workshop downstairs, uh, there will also be a textile workshop um, on top. So, yeah. And we would also provide like more semi-private space for, for maybe brainstorming room or Zoom meetings or quiet meetings uh, uh, room. Because, yeah, this space here that we have is quite open. Um, so that's a next level now. Yeah. I think the way the reason that we chose our name in the first place is because that we wanted to be some kind of Growing. incubator, yeah, <laughs> for the community, you know, and and kind of um, yeah, make it possible to live and work here and uh, create this community. And it's nice to see that it's it's finally kind of starting. So yeah. Mm -hmm.